all been there, haven't we? Enjoyed a fun night out, you know? The sing-along of things. Have you ever seen those? Sing along a sound of music, sing along a grease. And then, of course, it gets extended, doesn't it? You're asked to basically come in character. You know, I've seen so many great ideas for nights out. People dressed up like the characters from Some Like It Hot or indeed Casablanca. It's part of the deal, isn't it? But now over here in the United Kingdom, a multi-million pound virtual experience is looking set to have major difficulties, this time from the want crowd who want to ban that very, very difficult word for them, fun. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in a very darkened London today. I hope you're keeping well. Nice to have you. Nice to see your company and all that sort of stuff. Let's have a big wave. I know, a little bit chilly. Yes, you can see that, can't you? They can't do two things. And you see how it, what, yes, you can see. No, no, no. It's not the sherry trifle. It's just me. It's a little bit cold. <laughs> Back as ever to your entertainment story of the day. This really all centers upon a group that really changed, you know, the course of popular music. When you think about it, way back in 1974, they shot to fame, all thanks to the colossal mega hit Waterloo. We're talking ABBA. Now, fast forward, of course, last year they opened their Voyage tour, their Voyage stage experience, should I say, which is going to be going home around the world. This is Avatar's recreated performing as ABBA right in front of your very eyes. It's proven very successful and we discussed it on the show before, didn't we, about whether you want to see an Avatar or indeed the real person. What's interesting now though is over here it looks like ABBA have reached, dare I say, their Waterloo. This is all because <laughs> get this, organisers and event organisers of those particular shows are asking people not to turn up wearing this, disco wigs, the Afro-coloured disco wigs, for fear of offending people. That's right. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, this is just another stab at cheap PR to remind people that, you know, the ABBA Voice show is still on in these very difficult times. Let me tell you, tickets are not cheap. We checked in with them. It's not a fake story. It's a true story. They don't want you to attend in anything that they may find offensive for other people. Now, what I find very strange is a lot of my friends who have naturally Afro hair are not offended by these wigs at all. In fact, they find them quite funny and more than happy to stand next to somebody in an event where it's all good fun and there's no nastiness at all attached to it. But as ever, this is going to be very problematic for the creators. Uh, indeed, the famous songwriters Benny and Bjorn of ABBA. Because if they don't come out and defend this, either way, a lot of people could be switching off. And this could prove something of a Waterloo, or indeed an SOS for the former 70s hit band. You see, whichever way they go now, people are making it very problematic for them. They need to recoup their money. It's cost a lot to put this show together. And more importantly, so far, proven a big success. But once again, the woke crowd have decided that it's time to ruin it for everybody else. And by doing this, a lot of people may suddenly now stop buying tickets. I'd love to know what you think to this particular story, genuinely, in the comments below, because this could close the show. It's that serious. And the bottom line is, as I say, without Benny and Bjorn uh, attaching themselves and coming out with some kind of speech, whether they're aligned to it or against it, it's going to prove problematic moving forward. And as ever, that's exactly what the woke crowd wanted. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.